Hello, and this is Erin Swenlin from DecisionPoint.com with your daily five. So let's go ahead and get right now into it. Okay, before I do, though, I wanted to let everybody know I do host a live trading room. It is free on Mondays from 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern. All you have to do is go to our website, decisionpoint.com, and sign up for our free newsletter, and you will get notified and given the registration links. And there's also a lot of other cool things that we send out as well to our free newsletter folks. All right, let's start it off with, of course, what else? The SPY one-year daily chart. And as you can see, uh, we've had this bearish formation. Sure worked out great, right? As we broke out to the upside on it. I always find it especially bullish when you get a, a bullish breakout from a bearish pattern. So I think that is a good thing. Looks like we might be consolidating just a little bit today. You've got uh, the PMO has been really flat. So it's hard to really decipher. I've been using my handy dandy thumbnail on the side. And you can see we did get a whipsaw here on the PMO back when we got this pause. And so everything was really starting to look a little bit weak and not uh, so strong, of course. So at this point though, I, I like the chart. I have to say we've got a lot of positive volume that has come in, at least that's on the SPY. Total volume, it's been a little bit uh, under, Neath the annual average, but you know the average got a little bit skewed if if you will with these very high readings over here You can see it just moved right on up a lot higher than it normally is So I don't think that the volume is too far off the mark One thing that did happen yesterday and I can see is happening today to a greater degree Is that the VIX has been getting higher readings now? I invert my VIX because I like to have oversold on the bottom and overbought on the top. And when you get these penetrations of that lower Bollinger Band, it's usually a, a bullish sign. And it's not that I wrote it off last night when I wrote my DP alert, but you know, when we have the bands squeezed so tightly together, it's really easy for the VIX to, you know, either move outside its boundaries to the upside or even to the downside. So I, I didn't give it that much weight uh, at that point. But I have to say, looking at the VIX right now and seeing it really uh, hitting some very high numbers here is a little bit on the concerning side, uh, especially if you start seeing a rally. That's that's what really the, that uh, seeing that divergence between sentiment and what's going on in the market. Whenever I see those things kind of change their, uh, you know, move in a negative direction to one another, that usually is a sign there's there might be a problem. So rather than this being uh, normally a green arrow, uh, where you usually are going to see a move to the upside, I still have it there because that has happened. But I'm not so certain that this is really a sign that we're going to see some follow through. And I can see even today we sort of are getting getting a little bit of a topping action, just slightly, uh, with that intraday high not uh, reaching the prior one. Let's look at our Swedland trading oscillators, our exclusive indicators. They are short-term indicators, and they have been very uh, they have really been accurate and you can see that they came in at that low and it came in right here when we got that big move to the upside and then we started seeing uh, those readings getting uh, out of negative and now we do have positive readings these are readings as of thursday august 27th even though i'm recording this on friday i do like seeing this uh, participation that is starting to uh, show itself. You can see that we have a lot of our stocks above their 20-day EMA. We were seeing that negative divergence, but right now I'm seeing the readings moving higher as of yesterday, and I think that uh, really does give us a little bit of comfort in looking at these short-term indicators because we have had so many negative divergences, and it looks like now that we got uh, this next top as of yesterday, you know, the divergence could be starting to go away if we get these readings to go a lot higher than these previous tops. So I think that the short-term indicators are looking great. If you read the DP alert, you can get my, my train of thought on our intermediate term indicators. They're looking a little bit different. 
All right, gold, what's going on with gold? Rising trend line here, we are seeing a move uh, that's given us kind of a, a symmetrical formation here, a symmetrical triangle. The good thing about gold is we got that pullback and it's really holding on to that 2011 top as well as that previous rising trend. And you do also have a fail safe down here with that 50 day EMA. So I'm liking gold despite the pullback. I know today it is actually up, I think about one and three quarters percent already. We have a sell signal still, but again, I think this is good. We're getting a chance to unwind these indicators. All right, well, we need to look at some gold miners. We just saw gold sparkling. And what's been going on here? Of course, it is following gold fairly closely, but a lot of good things, honestly. We've had a pretty major pullback here. And I know last time I was on the Daily Five, uh, I was really fairly bullish on gold miners. And in fact, I think I did give you a diamond of the week, wheat and precious metals from that sector. You know, we didn't get the kind of action, at least I wanted to see after my daily five that I gave you. But now we're starting to see things really looking up here. Just like with gold, we're holding that rising trend that we had before. And you've got that symmetrical triangle, as I said earlier, we're up over 3% right now. So we've tested this area, the 50 day EMA, which is overlapping with that rising bottoms trend line, and we're starting to see a bit of a bounce off there. You can see that our uh, stocks above their 20, 50, and 200, you know, the, two, the longer term looks great. We're at 100%. We have 100% of the components with their 50-day EMA above their 200-day EMA. That gives us our golden cross. And, you know, we see a little bit of a pullback here on the stocks above their 20-day EMA. And we had a little bit of that on the stocks above their 50. But notice we have rising bottoms here. These are pretty flat, but I, I'm okay with that. They're not, uh, we're not seeing a decline there. And so we're getting some support as we come off of this bounce into this new rally phase. You can see that the RSI has now moved positive. This would be the only thing I would be a little bit concerned about in watching, that maybe this isn't quite the time we're going to get that big breakout because the momentum, uh, the PMO is still showing moving lower. I think it's starting to, to curl a little bit on the end there, but technically it is below its signal line and on a sell signal. And the OBV we can see also has declining tops with declining tops on the GDX prices. So that tells you there is a confirmation of the current declining trend right here. So if we get a breakout from that declining trend, we continue to see a little bit of improvement here as far as these indicators go, because we already have a pretty good support here of 93% of components having their 20 day EMA above their 50 day EMA and a bullish percent index that's certainly uh, respectable at this point. Time for the diamond of the week and it comes from the communications sector. This was my sector to watch uh, last Friday when I wrote my decision point diamonds recap. For decision point diamonds, I look at five stocks three times a week and I give you the same kind of analysis that I'm getting ready to give you. Uh, that includes usually upside targets, possible entries and stops. So you get 15 stocks with that sort of analysis every week and the cost per month is only $50. So you get about 60 stocks, uh, $50, you're going to pay less than a dollar for each of those stock picks. So the main thing I want to do is teach everybody how to mine for their own stocks, their diamonds. And that's what I like to do with my Decision Point Diamond subscription. So let's look at NetEase. This actually was my diamond of the week on Monday for the Decision Point show. And I decided to keep it in here because I like this little pullback that's going on. But I called the Diamond of the Week back here on Monday. 
And I felt really bad because I don't write my diamond report on Mondays. I write them on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So my diamond subscribers did not know unless they watched my decision point show about this one. So we did right after I, I gave that one out, we had a nice 4% move to the upside. And now we're consolidating. We got the breakout and now we're consolidating. We've got a little bit of a pullback here. The RSI is positive. It's a little on the overbought side, but look at the PMO, really nice buy signal. Uh, we had lower volume on the negative day where we pulled back and you can see that as far as on balance volume goes, you know, we had a higher top here than the previous one, very close. And so you want to see that action. If you get some a breakout, you want to see that volume is behind it. And of course, the stock charts technical rank still looks good. So I do like NetEase and TES as my diamond of the week still. Uh, catch that decision point show and, and you'll get a little bit of a head start on these. If you want to try out decisionpoint.com right now, if you subscribe to our bundle, which includes the DP alert and my DP diamonds, and you use the trial code DP trial, you'll get a free week and you can see what uh, my diamonds look like, not only this week, but I have everything from January. So I don't hide any of those reports. They're all available for you, as well as those DP alerts. So recommend you go and check out decisionpoint.com. And that is all I have for my daily five. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Aaron Swenlin with decisionpoint.com. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.